Today I'm going to show you how to do a self-portrait tutorial. All you need is a piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser. The first step to drawing a self-portrait is drawing your face shape. For this, we will be using an oval to make a general shape of your face. You can always um, alter it a little bit to make it look like your personal face shape, but uh, oval is a good way to go. To start out drawing an oval, first you're going to be drawing a circle and then you'll be drawing an oval around your circle. This circle makes sure that your oval is wide enough and it's not too narrow. Now don't draw, you know, make sure you're drawing lightly and then you can erase that circle line and any other kind of messy lines. You don't need those anymore. The next step is to be drawing our proportion lines. These are lines that are like a map. They tell us where to put your facial features on your drawing to make sure it looks accurate. First, you're gonna draw a vertical and horizontal line to split up your oval, draw lightly. Then you're going to divide in half um, between the middle and the bottom of the oval and then the middle of that and the bottom of the oval again. So you have your eye line, your nose line, and your mouth line. This is going to wear, this is going to help you figure out where to put your facial features. Right now I'm using that halfway horizontal line, my eye line, to determine where to draw my eyes on my drawing. So I'm just kind of measuring it out, placing my eyes down. Now to draw an eye first, you're going to draw a circle. This is your iris, which is the colorful part of your eye. You're going to add another circle inside the pupil. After you get that done, you're going to draw an almond or football shape around your iris. And that's a good eye shape. Add a little tiny circle. That is a tear duct. That's where your tears come out. Then you're going to draw a line going over your eye. That is the eyelid line. So that's a very simplified way to draw a basic eye. And repeat for the other side. So right now I'm using that, I'm drawing my iris, adding my little pupils in, I'm drawing my football shape around, and notice I'm doing this all on the eye line. Make sure your eyes are halfway down your face. A lot of people don't realize that, but your eyes are actually halfway down your head. And you can start to draw a line to mark where your eyebrows are going to go. Next is the nose. I'm drawing a big circle, and then I'm going to draw two little circles on either side. They should be overlapping a little bit. And where those circles overlap, you're going to draw upside down U shape for your nostrils and draw parentheses on the edge of the circle. Now what we're doing is drawing a very basic bottom nose shape. And you can add lines to make your nose look a bit longer if you want to. That's a very basic way to draw the bottom of the nose. And now I'm just erasing those lines and it looks like a very basic nose. So big circle, two smaller circles. Notice how I'm doing it on the nose line. I'm drawing this on the nose line. Then you're going to add your nostrils and parentheses. And voila, you got a nose. And feel free to add these lines going up the face. They're not necessary. Now we're going to draw lips. You're going to draw a very long line, a smaller line underneath it, and a V shape in the middle of your line. Now from the corner of that V to the other corner, you're going to draw a diagonal line. So these are connecting, so from the V to the edge of your long line, that's making your top lip. Now I'm just going to connect that bottom shorter line to my longer line, and then you got very basic lips. Now you can always go over these, this basic shape and make it look more like your actual lips, because some people have bigger bottom lips, some have bigger top lips, some have pointy lips, some people have more rounded lips. So use this as a basic starting point and then just kind of change the shape. You got a basic mouth. So I'm drawing that bottom lip and then I'm going to draw the longer line and the V. 
on my paper and then I am drawing my lips on my oval. Using that V, connecting diagonal lines, connect it all together and you got yourself a closed mouth. Now, I am erasing all these proportion lines. Once you have all your facial features on your oval, you no longer need those proportion lines. So those can be erased. And now, time for eyebrows and hair. For eyebrows, I like to do short little hair-like strokes and just do like the general shape of your eyebrows. Now for hair, look at the way your hair is parted. Look at the length. Do you have curly, wavy hair? Use that. I like to do the general shape of the hair first, and then you can go in using a combination of lines and shading. You don't want to just do a bunch of lines overlapping. It'll look a little bit more like hair if you use a combination of pencil shading. So areas where your hair is a little bit darker, you might want to add a little extra shading. If you have any highlights or where your hair is lighter, Maybe don't shade there, leave some white. I'm doing a combination of shading and lines to make it look a little bit more like hair. And just repeat the process. Now this is on, this is shorter hair. Notice I'm drawing out the shape, so kind of where the bangs might go, where the hair's parted. So draw those shapes out first, and then Go in with some shading and some lines. Now I am just going back and shading some of my facial features and adding more details like eyelashes, shading in my eyes. So once you get your whole entire face and your hair, everything drawn in, it's good to go back and add details later. The more time and details in um, that you add, the more realistic your self-portrait is going to look. Once again, just adding more shading. You can always erase to make highlights appear. Yeah. So that's an example of a self-portrait that lots and lots of time and shading. Just do your best. But yeah, shading and adding details will take your portrait a long way. So that is a basic way to draw a self-portrait. Thanks for watching.